All right, so I was thinking about the way I'm gonna start this video out and it's just sort of like a cool deal. Like right now we are in Fishers, Indiana, just north of where I grew up, I'm getting ready to go fish a lake that I have not fished for over two years. So you hear all this thing about being like fishing history and all like what's changed on this body of water. We've had a whole lot of rain, it's windy right now. It's actually pretty cold. It's in June, late June that is. So it's gonna be fun to fish a four hour tournament Thursday nighter, so what I grew up fishing. I fish Wednesday nighters, I fish Thursday nighters. I fish every week night I could. But my buddy BJ says, he goes, you fish every day with the Y in it. And I did, a lot of times I did. So we're gonna try to check it out. But first, we gotta go meet up with my buddy, Greg Morehouse, who is my partner who I fish with every, well, the majority of every Thursday night tournament I pretty much have fished, I fish with him. So that is the plan. Gotta unlock the rig and see if we can't catch a bass. Cornfield. A cornfield. It's not a pond, it's a cornfield. Going to Morris Reservoir, which is a lake that I've fished several times, lots and lots and lots of times. Um, and like the thing that I'm noticing, like right now off the giddy, uh, is tons of. I knew there was a lot of rain, but there's even more water in a lot of these fields up here. Uh, I'm expecting that water to be pretty muddy, stained up, uh, little run-ins, places like that. You know, you gotta think it's a four hour tournament, it's a five to nine, that's at least what I remember. Um, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be an interesting event. You know, I uh, I don't think there'll be a ton of guys out. You know, there's some rain and there's some stuff, but overall, like, you know, it looks like a pretty decent night, you know, and, uh, but the cool thing is about, about it is like, since I haven't been here for so long, you know, you hear the story of like fishing history and how that can hurt you and come back to a body of water and things have changed. And so that's gonna be interesting with the water being up though, I would assume, um, you know, that, that some of these fish will start to act uh, pretty good and start to get up there shallow. I'm sure some guys will catch them really good. But this lake normally, just sort of give you guys a rundown. This lake's normally good for like to win. It's gonna take like 12 to 15 pounds. Not saying somebody can't catch an 18, 20 pound bag, they're definitely big enough fish out here. But normally you gotta catch those two and a half pound plus fish, two and three quarters. Um, and, it, and it's always been a really good lake to fish. So uh, never, you know, it doesn't seem like you catch them 20 pound bags as frequently, but so I think tonight's gonna be just about getting a few fish in the boat and then getting one or two big ones. That's always what these, these Thursday nighters is about. Um, this is a five fish limit, different than like what I do on those Thursday nighters down back home. It's a five fish limit, um, so best five, and they pay big bass and all that stuff. So I'm, I'm interested to see how many people are back up here that I've, I've known for so long. I got my buddy Greg, which Greg's a character. You guys are gonna meet him. He's he's pretty crazy. He's an old man that, that has taken me fishing several times, and and he just, <laughs> he's, he, he's he's cut and dry. The sucker's cut and dry. That's just as simple as that. And he, he uh, I tried to get him to actually, the boat that we used, I tried to get him to, to, to bring it, but we're gonna jump in the Triton tonight. Uh, you know, I wanted to go out there, the boat that we fished, the majority of these tournaments in, it's like a 16 foot aluminum with a uh, 40 horse Johnson. And I wanted to fish out of it, but he couldn't get it, everything worked out and ready to go before then. But should be a good night. Uh, I'm excited to sort of see what has changed and sort of show you guys maybe how I dissect the lake quickly and we're not being at the lake for a while. And ooh, let's get out here, hold up. Try not to get messed up too much. Where else in the world is that? Where else in the country is that? There you go. <laughs> what the heck? You sorry suckers. I ain't seen you guys in forever. What up? Hey! Yeah, I like it. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I think they're, I think they're fancy. That's what we're looking at. Yeah, that's not your throwing the mojo. I know you don't. No, I don't know. I, don't. <laughs> I think you're really desperate to try to catch one on a mojo. <laughs> That's an old school pose. I got, dude, I got crap everywhere. This is a practice buzz bait. Greg's gonna get mad. I got dang big old club. I got, dude, I just got stuff everywhere. You found that one in the lake. It's all no, right. uh, I don't even have Roger. I got like crankbaits tied on like this right now. I swear to you. That's hey, all I got in my box. Oh, like, that works with Morris. Yeah, I know. Oh, I'm gonna be cranking that sucker in 30 foot of water. And, I 
I want some fish with all their cameras on it. It don't matter. We're gonna, we gotta document this stuff. <laughs> yeah. Document this boat while we're about to get kicked by these guys. Yeah. All right, so. On. <laughs> 10 seconds. We gotta get going. We're late for a very important date. No time to lose. We'll go see if we can catch one. Them boys are already taking off. They're already taking off. We done got one. We're behind already. We're behind already. That's what I was thinking too, is that wall, they're getting a little bit stingy. Really? All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is throw a little BX Brat. I'm not feeling that one. Maybe, it's not that bad. A little black and white. What color is that, Lester? Uh, yeah. That water's up. A water will out like a buzz bait or a frog or guaranteed. Uh, yeah, I don't understand why they're not. Right. Well, I mean, it might be just a good one. All right. I don't know. Nah, Take your time. Not. Hey, you see? Hey, oh. There you go, first one of the night. There you go, Lester. Get you one up there. There you go. Oh, oh yeah, he's a 15 inch. Alright, we're good. You're pretty good at just flipping him up against the one hand. I've gotten better at it. Yeah, I've gotten better at it as I've. We make that look easy. That can't be that easy. So far, caught two baby bass and got hung up in a tree. We got one. There should be one right on the seawall. Should have one. Hmm. Well, I mean, we're only 45 minutes in. Just the water's jacked up a little bit. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to think of what. What kind of stuff I can run? Get a couple bites. There he is, biggin'. Not a biggin'. Now nah, you're good. He's got it. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, that's a good one. There you go. Got it good. He had it good right first. He was up there shallow, dude. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was a big one there at first. <laughs> All right, let's ride. Probably 
tie bite ain't buzz bait. It really is a tie bite. Not a big one. He might keep, but I don't think he's a keeper. Four, number four. Not a big one. Messed up. I messed up, caught us a few of them. Ooh, 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 ooh. ooh I went slot right there. Gotta take your time cranking this on me up. Yeah, that's a good little corn corner. And that and then that's a bill. Good one? Keeper? Get in here. Both of us there. You might help. He's a 14 and a half inch here. That one's probably gonna outweigh these. What do you think? Lester. Shit, you got me, man. Yeah. <laughs> they look like they're both with this one. Uh... That's the like right there. And then I'm gonna shut down. All right, so this is the deal. We got 15 minutes to go. We got two babies, three that we could probably keep. We need two quality bites in 50 minutes. About six so far. Probably is a little clean. Oh. Well, off. well, we are about to weigh in. Came in, caught six keepers all night, and just looking at uh, first first thought. Of the whole thing was uh caught a few fish rolled with a lot of the history that i've had on the lake and caught a few fish because it lost maybe one or two fish but overall you know i, I think you're gonna need a, a pretty good bag um probably 12 13 pounds we might have 10 pounds maybe a little bit more but uh a little bit less somewhere around there i don't i don't think you're gonna win on that but uh caught some fish cranking seemed like the majority of our fish came cranking i could not get so you have these these like almost towards getting close to post frontal conditions not necessarily right now it's like right around still around that front it's a cloud cover you got a lot of wind cool weather when you feel that that you know there's not a lot of humidity it's real dry um in, in that time sometimes they don't bite a top water through a frog through a buzz bait couldn't get them to bite on that which is fine but uh, caught a few fish on crankbait and uh, had to switch up between a couple of different ones. Caught some on a medium diving crankbait just to get a little bit deeper because those fish I feel like are a little bit deeper than, um, than that square bill. So messed around with a few different baits, but uh, overall it was a fun night. We're gonna see, uh, see how it ends up. Huh? What about it, Andy? Did you catch them all? Hey, oh, you got some ice cream. Hey, cool. What number are you? Three, three. Oh, hey, I would ask you guys a question. We got it. Uh, we got it. <laughs> Dang, last <laughs> Money. That's more. That's more than a two-minute penalty right there. Yeah. That is more than a two-minute penalty. Yeah. Pop on his head. Yeah, those kids. Yeah, he, he was mad at him. Unbelievable. There we go. No, they're more than a two-minute penalty.
That's what I thought of. You guys catch them? No good? So we caught 11 pounds. Took 17. Now, 17 is a really good bag of morse. Really, 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 really good bag. 13 pounds was what I about thought. 13, 14, maybe 15 max. With these conditions, catching 17 pounds, I'm like tipping the hats. The boys. That was a heck of a good bag. Unbelievable. Yeah, that's his home lake. That's so nice, man. Yeah. 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 Yeah.